Hi folks and welcome to my tricks and licks segment and uh, <clears throat> this uh, is actually something that I wrote on an electric guitar and brought it over on the acoustic guitar and there are several things that came out of me writing this little tune called Jazz in the Box that sort of became my signature licks and I'll show you a couple of them. So it starts off... <laughs> When you, uh, I'm actually doing this run up on a E to E7, but when I do this, you don't touch that again. Still there, and that that gives you sort of the the feeling that there is more than one guitar player. And so what I'm doing also is muting my bass. I'm not doing a Chet Atkins like. I'm not doing that. I'm doing like a, a driving bass. And it's the only song, maybe another one I do, but uh, where I go back and forth with the thumb. But what really got people's attention, it seemed, was when I started doing the harmonics. And uh, so you have harmonics on your 12th fret where you just touch the string over the 12th fret and release. You don't press down hard, just touch it. And then on the, uh, that's 12th fret, 7th fret, and then the 5th fret. And so you can actually do... Staggering the strings, like 5th, 6th, 4th, 5th, 3rd, 4th, 2nd, 3rd, 1st, 2nd, 3rd. There's another song I wrote where I, I go. Which, uh, that's another video. <laughs> but that's how I do it. So on Jazz in a Box, I'm actually keeping my thumb going and I'm muting it with this part of my hand. Bass. Bass lick. I don't know how that works. I'm not a physicist, but it works. It's, it's like you just do a harmonic and then slide it up. Your, your seventh fret, which is a B. Now, you're not just doing like separate. You actually put the, the little finger ahead of the index finger on your fourth string and then your index on your fifth string. Slide it down, then back up. And you're picking back and forth on your right hand with your thumb and index. Another thing I did on that song was... because, like I said, I actually wrote this on a Telecaster or some kind of an electric guitar. And so... 
And I also had an old 54 Les Paul, and I found out that it had the perfect headstock to reach up. So to, it also on the J45. And so what you do here, of course I wrap my strings uh, in a certain way where they don't cut you or you just cut them off real close there. But I take my thumb and I put it on the headstock here and I take these two fingers, not one, but two, and push up towards the ceiling like this. And there are other songs that I uh, started playing, like Wabash Cannonball and different things, but it all started with this song. And by the way, it all started with me with Gibson guitars a long, long time ago when I was 12 years old. I'll never forget walking home from school and I had a little unplayable uh, guitar at home that I got for my uh, 11th birthday. Dad picked me up, said, I have your guitar uh, fixed up for you. And I thought he had fixed the little key that had busted here of the tuner button. And he took me down to a music store and, and he said, come over here, son, I got your guitar. And he opened up a case that was a brand new J45. Very much like this. Changed my life forever. So I encourage you to invest. Invest in your kids, your grandkids, and keep music alive. Thank you, folks. Mm -hmm.